Alright guys, what up? Long time no see. Let's do something. So, first things first, I'm gonna have this shooter package that has a few animations, the dude himself and a shotgun, and I'm gonna give you all the link to it. It's in my hard drive, and we will do it. anyone with a link. Just copy the link and I'll give it to you guys. And then, when we're doing that, what do we do? So, we're inside here. I deleted the guy just to show you how to actually use these things. So, I go to desktop. I have it downloaded right here. I'm just gonna throw it inside my Unigen and you can see it already has everything. So, I have uh, four different types of animations. I've got the idle, reverse walk, run, and regular walk and I have it for aiming, non-aiming, and not equipped. And then we got the dude, just in case you didn't have him, and we also have the shotgun with its materials, so just press import. Once it's imported, you can either delete the U package or keep it there. It doesn't really change anything. So when we go inside the file, we got three things. So we got the dude, which we have, and we'll take the shooter.node, just send him out here and you'll notice that I made him already carry a shotgun so if we go inside into the shooter click on edit you can see that the shooter also has a transformation bone now what a transformation bone basically is is it copies the bone that it's connected to in terms of transformation so if that hand was somewhere here it's gonna be exactly there too so it's kind of like a connector then a trigger point was just an area where the uh, shotgun itself was sitting properly on and then the shotgun is the shotgun now uh, when you press ctrl s the thing goes off and that's the shotgun guy now in order to see if it works we click edit and then over here let's just loop the on animation go into the animation and then choose our animation so let's just use uh, idle the non-equipped animation it's it's your regular idle that we had it does not include the, the uh, what's it called the walk but if we were to do like equipped and let's just choose non-aiming it's almost there I didn't really calibrate it to actually fit the guy's hands but it's close enough the goal is to be just close enough and to use it as uh, information of how to do it if you have your own animations go ahead these animations were taken from mixamel so uh, do note that it, they're not my animations because if they were I would definitely make sure it fits properly but anyways um, in order to get the hand to actually grab that you need inverse kinematics or you actually calibrate it correctly but I'm lazy I don't want to do that that's a bit too much uh, extra work that we don't need at the moment let's make the game work first and then after for some reason walking no 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 it's still out but anyways we got <laughs> we got the guy working so we have the animation so far I am going back in and giving it going back up giving it a T pose and stopping it right there all right one more thing is I am going to remove the shotgun and we're gonna keep that trigger point the trigger point is where the shotgun itself is gonna connect to so when you pick it up you connect it to that place so next thing next we're gonna keep the shooter and we're gonna drag him into our main character and then reset his position yeah apparently minus one works perfectly okay so we got the guy correctly connected and we got the uh, shotgun and if you want to check the shotgun out I have the shotgun dot node and I did a little bit different to it so let's just check it out all right and let's move it in So the shotgun node actually has the material that I added and then it has all these speculars. You can go in and check through it. The object itself is not really correctly put in its center 
because I wanted to check with the trigger point properly. So that's why you'll see like the points are a bit different in terms of the numbers and it's reset it to look like this. So when it actually connects on to the hand, it's going to connect in the same axis, axes and it will be perfectly aimed. <sighs> but yeah, um, let's do that. Uh, let's make the uh, Let's make the uh, the guy somewhere around here, probably the gun somewhere here or something. And if he gets close enough and presses E or something, he'll pick it up. How's that for the next episode? This episode is just showing you what I'm giving you all. And you can go ahead and play with it or make your own. But yeah, this is about it. It's gonna be a short little episode. Uh, probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow I'll make the episode on interaction everything because today I don't have time but anyways thank you all for watching I'll see you guys soon goodbye